So here we've got seven specimens. And can you tell the difference? One of these specimens has got gold and the rest have different types of pyrite. Let's have a look. So this one I don't know if you can sort of see the rainbow colours glistening as I turn that. You've got all sorts of shades. That's what we call calcopyrite. This is a cenopyrite. Arsenic, I better wash my hands after that. It's, uh, it's faded with oxidising, but if I break that, it'll be shiny in the middle. A bit of galena. Galena is not a pyrite, it's a lead ore. Cubic. Fool's gold. Iron pyrite. It looks like gold a bit. There's usually always loads of it. Yeah. A lot less of it, but that is gold. Gold will always shine regardless of the light. General Fool's gold, pyrite, iron pyrite, comes in cubic form. And you can see that massive cube in that specimen there. It's about eight millimeters square. And uh, look next to it, if I got the magnifier on that, you'd see that all those Fool's gold in that part is just a, a lot of little cubes all bunged together. So if you're looking under a loop, and you're not sure if it's pyrite or gold. If it's cubically formed, it's generally pyrite. Gold will be all sorts of shapes. Here we've got a speck of gold and a speck of pyrite together. The gold has got a much yellower luster to the pyrite. The gold is on the right and the pyrite is on the left. If I put them apart separately, it'd be hard to tell the difference. I've got a nail there, and I'm going to crush it. Look, it just crushes to dust. I'm using the nail of the, the head of the nail. Whereas the gold... I can push that as hard as I want. It doesn't do anything to it. The most I could dent it, maybe. The pirate's gone to dust. Gold is still in one piece. 